skills demanded of a guitarist now are not particularly technical skills. I mean, let's face it, um, anybody could go and program their sequencer and play perfect 30-second notes at a tempo that no living guitarist could do it. So, you know, if people want technical skills, they can program them. I learned a lot from listening to Ardo Lindsay, even though he can't really play at all. Um, but he does something, and that was interesting to figure out exactly what he was doing. Um, I mean, he's a good example of someone who has no technical skills. The same skills that are demanded of a rock guitarist now in the studio are stuff I could play in my sleep when I was 17. And that was a long time ago. I wanted to make this record, so I called up a couple of people and they said they'd give me some money. So then they gave me some money, so then I made the record. Okay, not, not, not everybody's in the position uh, to call up people and say, give me some money, I want to make a record. But I am. I'm famous. Well, I'm not really, you know, famous, but, but I was famous for 15 minutes. And then once you're famous for 15 minutes, um, for, the next, for the next 30 minutes, they still return your phone calls. <laughs> I don't know, I'm at minute 29, so I'm going to find out what happens after the next 30 minutes. The Zorn pieces are very, use a lot of alternate techniques, you know, a lot of playing behind the bridge, behind the nut, these kind of squeaks. Mm. You know, playing with um, pieces of metal on the strings, balloons, pipe cleaners, playing here, hitting the guitar, you know, all kinds of stuff. And um, it sort of bleeds over into the standards. When you play those pieces, they bleed over into the standards, and the standards bleed over into those sounds. I mean, on a good night, you know. <laughs> You gotta leave, you can't 
win all the time. <laughs>